Roman has invited me on a road trip to Russia's most polluted town, maybe the world's most polluted town, according to some sources. Um, it's called Karabash, and it's basically a factory there that mines some stuff out of the ground, and it produces lots of arsenic in the air. So the residents live under a big arsenic cloud. So we're going to go there now, we're going to check it out. Join us on the road to Karabash. I've stopped off on the road quickly. Just I want to show you. The weird thing is that although we're heading to like, the most in polluted city in Russia, all along this road are these, um, what would you call them, holiday camps, Soviet holiday camps. This one's called Ural because we're in the southern Ural Mountains here. Um, it says Baza Oddich, so like holiday camp basically. And there are just hundreds of it, not hundreds, there are lots of them all along the road because nearby to this town is a lake. Um, and so Soviet citizens used to come here and even nowadays they come here, although I don't know, what do you reckon? Is it working still? I, I, would, I would probably bet that it's still working. Like sometimes I would think you, so see, too. you see those, like these, uh, I don't know if you could call it a sign, more like a monument, right? It's, it's probably like, yeah, it's been deteriorated, nobody's been looking after this. But I bet, like, if we go there, it's probably still working and still active. I think we should investigate by driving down the road and see if it's still active. What do you reckon? <laughs> oh, interesting. Imagine if there's, like, some holiday resort full of, like, Soviet babushkas. <laughs> they don't even know that the um, Soviet Union is over. They've just been hanging out right, for yeah, years. Yeah. Wow. Boom. The roads are Soviet. I know that much. Ural, it is Ural, right? It's closed for something. Yeah, I don't closed. see I don't see like a guard or anything. Maybe. I see a dog. Oh, there's a dog right There's here. a black dog. But mm, let's have a quick look. Oh, wow. Well, this is the Soviet holiday camp. I can see some Soviet buildings in the distance, but basically it's closed. Apart from the dog. Something. Would you stay at the Ural holiday camp? Probably. I mean, yeah. I've, I've been to these uh, sort of Soviet resorts a bunch of times as a kid okay. because my mom worked at this tractor plant. She used to get like free passes. Hell yeah. So we, and actually we would get some luxuries that you regular people, like I'm the party elite, you see, we would get like a, like an electric, uh, what is it? Kettle? Yeah, right. An right. electric kettle. Wow. And not, not everybody could afford that wow, at these yeah. Soviet resorts. So. See, he's a, he's a child of the, um, <laughs> the Communist Party. We've stopped off at the sign that says welcome to Karabash and here it is the Soviet sign because who knows once we pass the sign to Karabash anything can happen the cyanide just starts like one meter over there falling down on you so this may be the last time you see me as we head to Karabash We pulled over in the car just we got into the town of Karabash because if you look at the mountains on the outskirts of the city, they're just bare where all the trees, all the trees and the vegetation basically have been killed by the cyanide that is in the air extracted like um, dispensed from the factory towers. And so look, it's just like the trees are just gone basically. And it's just a big black rocky mountain now with nothing growing there. I can feel it itself, but I, th I um, think there's literally a fire up there as yeah. well right now. You fire. see like the black smoke coming up? I think, I think there might be a fire going on. I think the city's on fire as well. Crikey, it's all happening here. I don't know what's going down. And here's a, um, a local dude from the city. From, um, where are we? Karabash. Let's ask a Karabashian how is life in Karabash. Здорово, братан. Как тебе жизнь, Карабаш? Да, нормально. Мы слышали, что это самый грязный город в России. Ну? Ну, все равно нормально. А как вы чувствуете? Ну, здорово. Все нормально? Нормально, хорошо, очень приятно, спасибо. Ну, чтобы так и нормально оставалось. So I said to this guy, like, how are you feeling? You live in the dirtiest city in Russia? And he's like, I feel perfectly fine. Yeah. yeah. That's what people say to me all the time. People, people, because Shilavinsk is also supposed to be like a very polluted city as well. Yeah. And people, people always like, especially we have people from like Moscow coming into Shilavinsk and like, oh, it stinks. But I don't know, I don't, I don't smell it. Wow, everywhere here is just like abandoned houses. The entire wow. street is Look just abandoned houses. Wow, it's I've like never seen something. Like abandoned. It is. This is like Chernobyl. Where everything's just abandoned. Where do the people go? I guess nobody wants to live where it smells like that. No. You know? Look. 
I'm saying, look at these like uh, local people walking through these nice streets with abandoned houses. This is where you take your girlfriend for like a nice walk on the boulevard. <laughs> this is the boulevard of broken dreams. <laughs> literally. <laughs> it literally is. Literally. Broken houses and broken dreams. Maybe this place is like a car repair or something? I don't know. I think it's dodgy. I think there's something dodgy going on here. We've got a black um, Jiguli. We've got a black BMW. I think the mafia of the town hang out down here. Wow. Check out this place then, an old something or other. This road, as Roman names, the Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Boulevard of Broken Dreams, it really is. Just every building we've seen has been abandoned like this all the way down it. We've seen like maybe 20, 30 houses. I mean, wow, I don't know. I suppose people just wanted to leave and why would you not want to leave? It's the most polluted town in Russia. There's not exactly much future for you here. Whoa. Here comes the Jiguli. Oh, а это кто тогда? А это ёбарь. 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 О. 5:30. Да? It's um, look at this got Mick. Right. I mean, come on. I got too depressed from all that. So I need I need like a drink or something. Жизнь на ком ты думал делать дерьмо, когда передишь микрофон, я будто старый смоки мотая сайт в этом всем остальным карате, и будто старенький приедет на тот же фот. Here we got an old Soviet shop. We're still inside it, through the windows, we can still see some Soviet decorations. Unfortunately, the shop's closed, but you can see what a Soviet display cabinet looked like before. Look at the picture of the man walking his dog. I don't know if you can see that through the glass, hopefully you can, with his fishing rod. Really nice like, this, art style. I think, yeah, this was like a sporting goods shop or something because here we've got like a, a basketball and a hockey stick and then random stuff and I don't know, a weird place. Old abandoned Soviet shop. It's a pity we can't go in. It must be still be like so Soviet inside. Wow, I'm really using the word Soviet today. <laughs> I'm outdoing myself. Look at this, look at this. Wow, this is quite an apocalyptic sight. Just across this lake, We've just got this, the bare mountain in the distance where everything's like dead. And then you've got the factory straight ahead, which is just pumping out yellow and like black smoke and nasty stuff basically into the air. Wow, the air, oh man, it stinks. Smell it as we get closer to the water. Yeah. You can really smell it, like the chemicals or something in the air that is pretty nasty. Would and this is, it? would I swim in the, um, in the lake? No, but would you drink some? 100 grand. Would you drink some? No. <laughs> I value my life, you wow. know. Look at how green this grass is. It's like a windows wallpaper or something. <laughs> look at that whole look at that whole area. It's so green. Like this is this is so weird. Look at this factory like Chernobyl vibes right across the the river or whatever. You have such green grass. What Maybe is this? acid rain made it green. Maybe that's what happens. Or you know, imagine they have like paid government workers that come and paint the grass with like like paint brushes <laughs> yeah exactly exactly let's make carapash look nice right, yeah, yeah, the yeah. foreigners coming start painting that green grass by the way that's the star for me so far that was insane you love the grass right <laughs> right never see grass that green back in Chilebinsk definitely never are you becoming a soviet boo yeah sure yeah. sure yeah. this is this trip with bolden bankrupt is opening up new possibilities for me i would say <laughs> he's going to be new content on his channel soon, we were saying. He's going all about Soviet buildings, right, yeah. running around screaming Soviet every two minutes. Wow, got you. Wow. These are the roads of Karabash. This is how you get home in <laughs> Karabash, wow. On your little Lada Kalina, driving up these roads. In France. In France, not in France. They are
Да? За грибами, за ягодами. Вау. The lady is saying that I should move here and I can like pick uh, mushrooms in the forest. Right. So I'm now considering moving to... Сколько стоит квартира за месяц? Семь тысяч. А хотите экскурсию, я вам проведу по квартире, посмотрите, как... Давайте посмотрим, как если не против. Вау, this lady is going to show us how they live here in her apartment. She says she's on her pension, I can't believe it. She's the youngest looking бабушка ever. Проходите, не придется Конечно. Мы культурные люди, не переживайте. Проходите. Это у меня что, я шерсть вот приду между делом. Это? Да. So this is her thing for like um, weaving wool. Uh, wool. wool, yeah, weaving wool of some sort. А что вы uh, создаете, если можно так сказать на русском? Из шерсти-то? Да. Что-то, ну. Носки, варежки. So she makes like boots, she makes like hats, and she makes socks and stuff on this thing here. Wow, I thought it was a guitar, but now I realize it's not a guitar. Вот это моя кухня. А, уютный маленький красивый. Да, вот вот я шерсть напряла вчера. I see it. Wow, а что? Кто это молодой человек? Путин и медведь. Путин и медведь. She's got a Putin and medvedev fridge maker. Medvedev. А тут вот написано Крым наш. А, Крым наш, which means the Crimea is ours. Right. Sorry, Ukraine. And Canada. Um, and Shout out that's to Canada, not, That's not ours. That's not ours. <laughs> wow. What? I wish I'd no. brought an English fridge magnet. You gotta come back Brighton. to Karabash and give the magnet. Give magnets. the Brighton fridge magnet. If I send it to you, would you return it? На нижней. Ага. Ага. До свидания. Спасибо. Пожалуйста. До свидания. До свидания. До свидания. Спасибо еще раз. До свидания. До свидания. So that was a tour of an apartment in Karabash. That's amazing. Wow, that was good. That like not many people you think would just invite three big dudes into their apartment right. and just say, "Come and have a look around my bedroom." And if we didn't I mean, have a foreigner with us, nobody would invite me into their house. No way. What without a foreigner? You see, right. I have. The, I'm always saying that Russians are so friendly and these experience I have in <laughs> Russia. And Roman's saying it's only happening because you're a foreigner. If you were Russian, no one's going to say like, "Come into my apartment." So I don't know. I don't I know mean, what's true. I mean, depends. I mean, you could happen, but. Rare. Maybe not with me, probably not with me, definitely. Right. The house that we went in before was like really nice inside and stuff, but up here there's a house up here with a metal balcony with like broken windows and stuff. So um, not everyone lives so nice as the babushka that we just met. Some people are really struggling probably in Kara Karabash. Follow the Lada Neva. Wow, this is a real Soviet bicycle. I like it. Kruta. Kruta. Roman, you're gonna drive the motorbike, you're gonna have a go on the bicycle? Come on, fewer subscribers would love that if you rode a bicycle in Karabash. Wow, this is literally a Soviet bicycle. This bicycle is older than me. It is, it's 30 years old. You sure about it? Я в шоке. Ну давай. Вау, я не думаю, Рома никогда ездил на байскуле. Как это ощущается, ездить на советском байскуле? Отлично. Я имел такой же байскуле в тот день, но не такой же. Понятно, понятно. Вот так. Это такие же путешествия, которые вы можете иметь, если вы приехали в Карабаш. Guys, what do you think of the Soviet tour so far of this town? Because it's incredible. Yeah, that green grass, by the way, that's the star for me so far. That was insane. You love the grass, right? <laughs> right. Never see grass that green back in Chelyabinsk, definitely. Never. Are you becoming a Soviet boo? Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. This is this trip with Bold and Bankrupt is opening up new possibilities for me. I would say. <laughs> He's going to be new content on his channel soon. We were saying he's going all about Soviet buildings, right, yeah. running around screaming Soviet every two minutes. Все на свете было не зря, не напрасно было. We're outside the abandoned cinema of the city, which is called the Kinotheatra Pabieda, which means um, victory. Right. And I think it may even be a nightclub. Is it still a nightclub? Yeah, I don't know. Well, the woman told us that 
Uh, the local sold us that so it's a nightclub now. Apparently. Oh, wow. It's I would benefit. love to come to this nightclub. That is a video in itself. It says, Let's see. If, if in, in case of any questions, call this number. <laughs> okay, what time does the nightclub work? That's my question. No? Ah, pity. So behind me is the chimney stack pumping out that black, nasty, acrid smoke into the air. And so this is the factory of which the town was built around, basically. The factory of Karabash. And this here is the lake where they pump out all their shitty stuff into this lake, which is apparently the most polluted lake in all of Russia. You read that, right, Roman? Um, I don't know about that, but ah. it's pretty polluted. It's yellow. It's, it kind of looks like a gulag, doesn't it? Like, uh... Well, I'm sure back in Soviet times it was a gulag because like people were brought here to work from across the nation probably but yeah the barbed wire and shit and the old like pipes all rotting and everything right yeah. and like the big yeah i mean it's not pretty it's not pretty here at karabash in fact it's the most depressing place i think i've ever been would you agree yeah. no roman's thinking well my area is not too nice either <laughs> i mean i don't know honestly there's something kind of inspiring about being in this place you know what i mean I don't know why, in a weird way, there's yeah. something inspired about it. Yeah. You like it? You got a soft spot for Karabash? I'm not going to say I like it, but it's definitely, it's worth seeing. That's what, I, that's what I'd say. It's worth seeing and checking out. Another crazy Karabash driver speeding down the street. Cool, that absolutely stinks. I don't know what that is, but look at the state of this, this town. There's old rotting. It's so like post-apocalyptic here. There's random stinking gases escaping from pipes in the town and stuff. Wow. Simki is? Yeah, it. Man. I mean, at the end of the day, you think like these are the type of like the suffering of these people keeps this country going in a sense, right? Right, right. Now, like without these factories, like we wouldn't have the all the resources that we have, right? It's kind of messed up. I'm just intrigued what a hotel looks like in this town. And so we're gonna try and go inside and see if we can see a room in the hotel. Now the view from the hotel, there's the hotel, your balcony, you can stand on your balcony. And this is the view you can have of a nice abandoned building. Ah, we can't actually check out the hotel because it's closed no 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 okay. yeah it's closed oh, well. <laughs> so we'll never know we will never know unless we come here in the future to stay here what the um yeah, the hotel sure. in karabash was like <laughs> but we know what the view's like and it's not the greatest wow i like it judging by what you what they sell in the local shop i think i know how the people in this town spend their time Nothing but vodka, 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 vodka. And a little bit more vodka. Look at this. We're still in the Soviet Union. I'm going to have a Soviet ice cream here in Karabash. The flavor of the Soviet Union. Wow, kakoe. The Czeski goose. These people who invited me, because they don't believe I'm English, to drink. Yeah, fuck you, my друзья. I'm English. Hello, brother. Yeah. Спасибо. Давай. Я выпью. Еще? Конечно. Я выпью. Конечно, еще пей. Че ты? Я в пьяном театр. We've come to the town's cafe to see what it's like in here. What's a town? What's a cafe like in this town? Let's check it out. The ladies have said I can film the kitchen, but not them in this Dolova. Well, through the blue door. But they said, don't film us. So I'm not going to show the ladies, but I'm going to show how it is what, and how they cook the stuff here. Wow, they're laughing at me. And this is where the magic happens. And here you've got blin chicky, you've got soup, you've got kasha, you've got pasta, you've got your um, uh, blin, can't get the nose away. It's uh, soup, uh, kakoi, um, she. she, and your salyanka, and over here, you have like your cakes and stuff and your some are filled with potato, some are filled with rice, some are filled with kapusta, which is cabbage. And you'll notice the blue color everywhere, which is very common in Russia. And this is where they wash up. You got sink number one, sink number two, sink number three. This is where it all happens. We're seeing it all. 
And here's the secret cupboard. Let's have a look in the secret cupboard. Wow, what's in here? Wow, this is where they keep their jackets and stuff. Amazing. Thank you so much for the tour. Billy and Teresa, Spasiba. Goodbye, girls. Thank you. Let's see, Daniel. Wow. You don't get this content anywhere else. Just here. Oh, that was it. That was the best rated cafe in this town. My mind's gone blank. I think it's the acid. I can't even remember my English words. Where are we? Carabash. Right. The best rated cafe in Carabash. Also the only cafe in Carabash. So that's basically it from Carabash. We met some interesting people. We saw some sights. Um, Russia's most polluted town. In some ways, the most depressing. In some ways, kind of the people were chilled. What did you, um, what do you think of Karabash, Roman? Yeah, I thought uh, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty mixed, mix, kind of a mixed bag, honestly. Like at the same time, yeah, it's pretty sad, but then the other, the other like side of it, uh, it's like worth it seeing like these sort of towns because it's kind of a humbling experience. Like because it kind of shows you that maybe you're not that like maybe you're better off than you actually think you are, right? Right. So. Yeah, an yeah, interesting very, experience. Definitely worth it. Book, definitely worth a visit. Book your holidays and book. Maybe it's on Booking.com, the hotel in Carabash. <laughs> I don't know. Next to we'll the Bennett building. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, guys, that's it from us. I just want to say thank you to Sasha for driving us here. Appreciate it, mate. And thank you, Roman, for inviting me on this um, road trip to, um, to Russia's most polluted town. I enjoyed it. All right, guys, until next time. Yeah. Why are you running around with a gun, you little psychopath? Are you shooting people? No, no, no. 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 No, no,